Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Fortress Homestead. So I have not had a live stream recently because my brother, Nightshot333, was in town. We had so much fun hanging out together. It was just really great to spend some quality time together as a family. He left for LA last night and made it home safely. But after he left, I just wanted to have some downtime to relax because, as you all know, Nightshot333 is a non-stop party, so I needed some quiet time, and quiet time means playing here on Minecraft! So I wanted to show y'all some of the cool stuff that I built last night. It's just amazing how fast my empire has just become this giant sprawl. It's just absolutely crazy, y'all. So one of the things that I had talked about that I wanted to improve was the fact that the safe path to the modern village um, cut through the old village. And the problem with that was it made it very complicated <laughs> for trying to ride a horse through the safe path. So I went ahead and created a safe path that goes around the old village. That way I can ride a horse to get to where I need to be and it not be like a whole thing trying to get through the village. So that has made it a lot easier and I've started putting up these lovely signs here we go, you can see them here. Because I have so many different safe paths now, it's getting a little bit confusing remembering which safe path goes where. Oh, do we have a spider following us somewhere? I hear it, I don't see it though. So I've been creating these signs, I feel like our safe paths have become quite a highway. So, now we have it where the safe path to the prairie village, as we're going to be calling it now instead of the new village, is over there. And then the safe path to the beach house is this way, as you can see from the sign. And then the safe path to the modern village is this way. And it's also beneficial because having this path go around the old village like this actually helps with some separation so that, oops, this is what I was worried about. Some of the trees are hanging a little low here. It rained a lot. There we go. Just get rid of these stupid leaves. But the safe path in some places really helps to bring in some of that separation so that the mobs are forced to be even further away from the old village. So as you can see, this is another one of the entrances into the old village. So this just is kind of added security. This is the nether entrance. So this is our nether portal that we built. It's inside of that building just to kind of have added protection from anything coming through the nether portal, as well as we have an iron door with a button. Anything that comes out of that portal is gonna be trapped inside there. But even so, we have this fence and we have a gate. So just a lot of added protection going on that's just really gonna help us just, you know, have added security. But as you can see, a lot of these safe paths are really, really long, so it's really helpful to be able to ride a horse on these safe paths. Ooh, I need to fix those stairs a little bit. And this is actually technically my, oh my god, we're flying, my first test run of doing the safe path with my horse. And here we are on the original part of the safe path that we had built to the modern village. So now we have it where it connects up to the safe path that leads to the beach house instead of having to go through the old village, which was just really, really complicated. And here we are! Look at how fast that was. It's just so much more convenient to be able to utilize a horse to be able to get back and forth on these paths, especially with, you know, having to go back and forth to get supplies, to create more weapons and tools, just all that kind of stuff. So, you know, having these 
little highways, you know, around my empire just makes everything a ton easier. And I'm constantly working on them and improving them and just making everything easier access, faster, just all that jazz. But this is the big project that I worked on last night. Super proud of it. These paths are just a lot of work, y'all. It's a lot of planning. It's a lot of resources. It's just, in general, it's a lot. And especially with this improvement to this particular safe path, it was a lot of planning with figuring out how exactly I was going to have the path go around the old, old village in a way that was going to make the path as short as possible, but also at the same time, interfere less with the old village. I still want the old village to be as accessible as possible, but I also didn't want to have a giant snaking path, you know, going around it that was going to make, you know, the safe path really long and obnoxious to have to deal with. So it's just really awesome that we have these paths going back and forth to these different locations. And I know as we continue building and growing, we're going to continue to have more of these paths. And I'm sure now, especially, we're going to have more paths where they're going to intersect like this and you know, have to have these signs so that I don't get lost, kind of like with navigating my minds with you know, trying to figure out where the entrances are and such. So one of the things that I did build on the sub server was I did build a little depot um, on the midway point of one of the safe paths. See, and I have more signs here to tell me which path that is, which is a super big help. Uh, because some of the safe paths that we have on the subserver are so long, y'all. It is just absolutely so incredibly inconvenient how far away we are from any other village and from a lot of other locations on the subserver. So, you know, having a midway point little like supply depot is really going to help us with that and i think i'm going to adopt that here on my solo server i think i'm going to start building some midway point supply depots as well i just really haven't had a need for it previously just because a lot of the safe paths are really not that long i know they seem long but compared to the safe paths on the sub server oh my god some of those paths are just so incredibly long y'all they like take an entire day to go from point a to point b so that is definitely a project for the future having supply depots and there's a lot more exploring that i want to do just a lot of other things i want to build and as well as we created our little bridge let's see it from our balcony we created our little bridge to the other side Ooh, we're like on the other side of our building we could probably see it easier from up here let's see oop nope I have to go down I lied <laughs> probably see it better from our observatory maybe yeah that will be the best way. There we go. We recently built this bridge over to the other side of the river, which it's crazy that we've done all this expansion all the way out this way, but we haven't even explored our own backyard. So we're definitely going to be doing expanding of the opposite river bank in the very near future. So that is a big project coming up. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe and tune in to my live streams. Thank y'all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.